Just to benchmark where your project's at, you know, we still, Fortune Bay has a very attractive valuation um, where it sits at the moment and, you know, hasn't got the recognition yet from the market. You know, we've certainly not alone. We see a lot of gold juniors like ourselves with development assets trading at huge discounts. Uh, despite the high gold price, we've seen some of the producers, certainly um, their price, share price starting to improve. But certainly a, a attractive buying proposition, and I believe particularly in Fortune Bay where we are are valued at the moment. You know, in terms of our grade and production, our, our grade for uh, compared to all these other Canadian open pit gold projects with studies in 2022, um, grades it's is very competitive for an open pit project. And remembering also we've got that really favourable strip ratio to accompany um, our competitive open pit grades. Initial capital costs, as I mentioned, a really attractive entry point at, at 234 million and certainly um, very competitive um, compared to other projects. And the economics, you know, sitting with one of the better IRRs amongst um, all the all these the other um, projects out there, um, um, and you know, decent uh, NPV to accompany that. Obviously, it's not a huge project, but we we do believe there's there's scope to expand that and build on the resource base. So, just turning to some of those um, opportunities. Exploration potential, we showed during our phase one drilling at Box that um, there's, the, the deposit is still open, it keeps going at depth, and we are finding some nice high grades. You know, just some of those highlights, highlighted grades listed there, you know, eight, around the eight up to 13 gram a ton of so the widths that would definitely support um, open pit mining. That drill spacing from phase one was very coarse, it's 50 to 75 meters. There's not enough drilling there to, to show continuity of those high grades yet. So additional work is warranted where we believe we can add ounces um, from an underground um, potential. There's also numerous other prospects on the project where the, which are shallow. Um, things like Frontier Lake, Golden Pond, they, they, they're underexplored. There are promising grades that have been picked up historically. So further work's uh, needed there to understand those deposits geologically and then uh, commence with some drilling uh, or with a view of you know, adding resources to the project. Gold recovery side, uh, we've, there's potential to improve those gold recoveries. The, the estimates um, in the PA are somewhat conservative, but we do need some more data, particularly variability data across the grade range to, um, to look at ways we could improve the gold recovery. Or sorting, we did some desktop work with SRK um, during the early stages of the PA. It, it wasn't advanced enough to incorporate in the PA, but it did show potential to improve project economics. So as we work toward a, a PFS, we are looking at incorporating some studies around that um, as we do believe it has potential, not only to just improve economics, but also re significantly reduce the amount of tailings, which could have some positive permitting um, implications. And sustainability is critically important these days. And we believe we had an opportunity to build a very um, sustainable um, operation, starting with that hydropower that's that's available and about 40 kilometers from the site, there's a power line to the site and complementing the hydropower to look to electrify the, the mining fleet and really, um, you know, have a, a strong ESG component um, to this project.